I'll plant my own seeds. I'll build tones from my own trees. I'll create my own earth and fertilize my own dirt like I've already done. You ever wondered why soil was so brown? That's from so many black bodies being planted in the ground. That's from so many black feet that walked this land. It's because this earth was molded by the hands of a black woman and a black man. If I ruled the world, I'd free all my sons. I'll create my own earth and fertilize my own dirt like I've already done. If I ruled the world again, I would not make the white population my slaves. I would rewind history to the Ice Age and leave them to perish in caves. They would not know about medicine or fire. They wouldn't even learn how to speak. They'd be left to eat their ish and F animals to keep warm. I remember they tried to tell me that I was missing a piece of my brain and that God's only purpose for me was to be a cotton-picking nigga slave. That, that didn't make no sense to me. I saw that I brought the stars and the rain. I brought the moon and the sun. I brought my womb that carried life, the lives of my black sons. I've been here since the beginning of time, so who's the white man trying to tell me that my son can't rise? It's because he likes melanin. He likes luster. So black skin is what he despises. That's why white supremacy was a system created to victimize us, oppress us, kill us, and cause destruction to our families. To destroy the black man, the black woman from the time that we're babies. I, I won't be fooled. I won't believe that Egyptians were white, or that my God isn't black, or that HIV came from Africa when it was created in a lab, then spread it to Africa. I won't believe that the Holocaust was worse than slavery when the Jews still have their language, religion, and families, or that the justice system serves any justice when black men are being gunned down by police on purpose, or that freedom is free, and it's equality for all, but my skin color determines how often I be watched in stores. I'm told I'm underprivileged because I'm black. And yeah, that's true, because my skin color determines my friends, my job, my school, the community I grew up in, whether I see my image in the media as beauty, and how my people gain strength from hurt. The way I speak, the way I dress, and what I'm taught. But my skin, my skin also breeds greatness. Yes, I have breastfed civilizations from birth. I have ruled over my people in peace and harmony. I walked on moons before I walked this earth. I have built, I have built great monuments. I have made breakthroughs in math, technology, and sciences. I bought blood, sweat, and tears as well as oil, gold, and diamonds to build wealth in America. Even though my mother land is being raped with fear and terror, Mother Africa, I can't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget your beauty because your beauty is me. Yes, my black sprouts break this further than eyes can see. I'm the chef to Rostec Mac. So I'm more than capable of planting my own seeds, building homes from my own trees, creating my own earth and fertilizing my own dirt like I've already done. is the root to all evil. Don't let it be the only roots you recognize. A legacy of fortitude seeds our past. Our roots secure it to strong systems that came before us. Bethune, Tugman, Chisholm, Coleman, Walker, some of whose names you won't recognize since their ass ain't being slapped in no music video. Their importance erased like the invisible black ink they were written in. Forced to be called names we now embrace, fighting for dignity we no longer.